Welcome back to the Filthy Table. And what do we have here? We have 90 fucking TNA 2009 card packs. And what are we looking for? We are looking for hand-signed autographs. We are looking for numbered parallels. We are looking for knockout kiss cards especially. And exclusive Sting face paint cards. Now, I've already opened one. There was nothing in there. I just had to when I got it. I do like this uh, this Jay Lethal uh, James Storm card. I thought this was depressing as fuck. We got uh, Sheik Abdul Bashir. Got him as a kid there. Then if you read the back, I just fucked the uh, the corner, but that's all right. These are pretty worthless. He talks about how he was a, grew up as an American, then 9-11 happened, and people started him treating him poorly. Uh, depressing. Anyway, let's open up a couple of these. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Probably as many as my uh, camera will allow. Also, I find opening these up without, you know, like harming anything difficult. But 90 card packs. I got them really cheap. So what I'm hoping, obviously, is for some um, good autographs. Uh, You know, good hits. We'll see, though. Alex Shelley, as a kid, you got him there as the uh, X Division champion. Sheikh Abdul Bashir, that's a nice Kurt Angle. And he's sticking a little bit, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, AJ Styles, yeah, that's a nice AJ Styles. Ooh, that doesn't look great at the side there. And then we got, uh, I think that's Macho Man Jay Lethal. Yeah, that's Macho Man Jay Lethal. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I thought about bringing this up into five videos and doing like 20 each, but uh, I don't know about that. Lots of those. Hey, that's a nice McFoley. I like these cards, some of them. That's a nice McFoley. The Icon Sting. Yeah, the Icon Sting. Then why is she on the back? That's uh, okay. Hernandez and Mr. Stee or Dr. Stevie. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, organize these a little bit more. Some of these cards I'm definitely going to keep. Some of them I might try selling on eBay as like one lot, you know. But um, come on now. You know, this is gambling for children, right? You do get that. That's what this is. I'm trying not to destroy the corners here. I've seen this card. This card's crazy. you got all of Christopher Daniels' family on here. This is such a weird set. I like some of it quite a bit, especially, obviously, the autographs, but anyway, you got Jeff Jarrett, Doug Williams, never heard of him, Booker T, Booker T's all right, I like Booker T, Sweet Tweak Connection, huh, I don't think that's anything special necessarily, but it is an art uh, card, and I like that, I've already fucked the uh, corner though, but I, I like that, I'll definitely keep that one, all right, I don't know how long we'll do this, I mean, I've got 90 of these, right, so... At some point, maybe 10 minutes, we'll call it quits. Maybe I'll do another one. Taz, love Taz. Consequence Creed, he's fun. Suicide, we love suicide. Another Kurt Angle, like Kurt Angle. Angela, uh, Angelina Love. I do like seeing the knockouts, because I don't really know any of these little knockouts, and they seem kind of rarer in this card set, which is unfortunate. You know, of course, you could buy, I think, the 2009. I believe the 2008 is much more popular. You could buy the 2009, uh, 2008 Hobby Boxes. They guarantee an autograph, but uh, they're like $24. I got these incredibly cheap, so we're just gambling here. Sheik Abdul, I've got so many of those. Uh, Mick Foley, pretty good. Rashida Sadia, or Sadid, rather. That's cool. Rhino, love me some Rhino. Um, Sojourner Bolt. <laughs> well, she was fucking hot. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I don't know how many I've done so far. Maybe five. Ugh. Opening up these packs without fucking destroying the cards. I mean, because, you know, yeah, 99% of them are worthless. Oh, but they're neat. You know, I like them. But, you know, you got that. You got those autograph cards, kiss cards. Uh, Alex Shelley. Rob Terry. Robert Rude. Got another that art card, and you've got the icon sting. Lots of duplicates. Gotta organize my cards a bit here. 
some of them are nice. I mean, I don't necessarily think any of these are going to be worth anything, uh, except for the autographs and such. But, you know, they're nice, and I'm going to keep some of them. I like wrestling. I like TNA. I didn't at the time, but, you know, I wasn't into wrestling at the time, as you all would well know if you listen to my podcast called The Dirtbag Sheets. Oh, there's something in here. There's something in here, and I can feel it. It's like, that's really, you know, like... All right. Uh, oh, man, if this is a redemption code, I'm going to be so pissed off. Because there's not... It's worthless. I mean, I could sell it, but... Or maybe that's just a thing to make sure that no one steals these. Maybe it's just random. Ange- Angelina Love... Jim Cornette. People used to love Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette's such a dickhead now. Abyss. Like Abyss. Um, Hermes Sadler. Never heard of him. So many Mike Ten- Tenay stuff. Oh, okay, and this is just a thing. Ah, fuck. I was hoping it was like a kiss card or something. God damn it. I got so excited there. Like I said, it is gambling for children. So... Ooh, Christy. Oh, no, 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 no. Terrifying. Well, anyway, Taz. Uh, uh, sticky, stick, stick, stick. No, 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 no. Well, we know what that is now. Yeah, we got to be careful here. Okay, Taz. Yeah, Consequences Creed. These are just a little sticky. They're not, like, terrible or anything. Daphne, um, TNA debut 2009. I guess this is a rookie card, maybe? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, we'll put that. We should make a pile that's just interesting cards. Uh, Charmel or Charmella. And uh, what I was getting excited about is the Christy. Uh, what is her? Hem? Heme? I don't know. I see her name places, and it's like her uh, autograph is pretty valuable. Um, but. Uh, yeah, some interesting cards. I really got to organize these. These are just all in a crazy pile. Let me organize these. Again, I'm not too concerned about the corners or anything. I'm, you know, a little concerned. Shit, sorry about that. A little concerned, but uh, mostly these are just going in a private collection, or I might try to sell them in a bundle for a couple bucks, or throw them away, honestly. But I'm definitely going to keep some of the cool ones, you know, the McFoley's, the Stings, um, probably all the uh, knockouts, because... Knockouts is especially, seems like, um, well, not knockouts, but women wrestlers in general seem like a uh, a growth market, you might say. And I don't know that these are worth anything, but they're neat. They're neat. Scott Steiner. Oh, my God. That's awesome, man. He's got, you got barbed wire there. You got a fucking crutch. And then he's hitting a fucking trash can in the fucking air. Oh man, we're keeping that. That's that's awesome. Oh man, stick, 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 stick. Come on now, don't ruin my my stock. St- Scott Steiner, Rocco and Sally Boy. Don't know them, but I do see um, uh, uh, Mick Foley there. Got the Scott Steiner with the metal thing. On. <laughs> this is great. This is great. See, like that right there might not be worth anything. I have no idea, but it's a really cool fucking card, and I'll definitely keep that. All right, they got the Rocco and Sally. You got another Abyss. I like the Abyss card, but, uh, you know, I only need one. Then you got this guy, Herman Sadler, or Hermie Sadler, never heard of him. And another Mike Tanea. What the fuck, Mike? And there's all kinds of stuff. It's just him with a friend, him as a baby, him with his family, him, you know, through a window eating, you know, Thanksgiving dinner with his family, all pictured. You know, him in the bathroom. There's so many Mike Tanny or Mike Tanny or whatever uh, cards. Anyway, Taz. Um, uh, sticky, stick, stick, stick. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Cons- I swear to God, consequence, uh, Consequences Creed is stuck to uh, Taz before in this. Uh, Kip James, which I'm pretty confident that's James Gunn. Yeah, that's James Gunn and his entire family. You got the, uh, the gun club right there. That's the other thing about the TNA in particular. Um, cards, you get so many W or, uh, AEW, uh, people. So I enjoy that, you know. Well, I mean, a lot of them were former, uh, f- 
former WWE people, but you get what I mean, right? I only got into it because of uh, the Young Bucks, you know, NJPW and uh, AEW. So I'm new to it all. But anyway, we got Tracy Brooks, another knockout. That's cool. Awesome Kong with the belt. That's fucking awesome. I mean, it would be. She is Awesome Kong. Yep. TNA Knockouts Champion at the time, I guess. Uh, not very good corners. That's the one thing, you know. I mean, you can't help with that. But that's all right. That's all right. I mean, I'll be pissed off if I get a really cool autograph and the corner's fucked. You know, or a, a kiss. But this is what it is. Uh, Jesse Neal. Mike Tanay or whatever. Fuck you. Mike again. Lauren Brooke. At least that's someone different. And uh, Brother Ray. Billy Ray. Or Billy Ray. Bubba Ray? Billy Ray? I don't know, man. Whatever. Brother Ray. That's uh, that's a cool one. That's a cool one. All right. Bully Ray. That's it. God damn. Fucking idiot. I think that's him. Only like a different name. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm dumb. Okay, I see a rhino. Love me some rhino. Sheikh Abdul Bashir. That's fine. That's a cool Nick, a Mick Foley right there. That's really cool. I enjoy that. Homicide. Good to see Homicide in here. I enjoy that. Rashid Shahid. And Rhino. See, that's the thing, right? I, I think all these uh, cards are pretty fucking cool. Well, not all of them, but most of them are pretty. None of that Mike Tanay crap. Fuck you. Mike Tanay, Mike Tanay, Mike whatever. I wasn't watching Impact at the time. I have no idea. And I don't recognize him. He's probably some famous broadcaster from, like, 80s WCW that I don't know. I'm dumb, is the point we're getting at here. Okay, Lauren Brooke. I think this is a year before they brought in um, Hulk Hogan, which is unfortunate. That means we won't get a lot of Hulk Hogan stuff in here. James Storm with his family. That's cute, but it's kind of weird, all these family photos and these cards. Consequences Creed, that's kind of a neat one. Made on impact and made an impact. What does that mean? Made an impact. The pipeline of pros is soul is solid as Sprayberry High School in Atlanta. No, 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 no. Hey, Madison Rain. God damn, young Madison Rain. Holy fuck, she was hot. She's still hot. She's still hot. She's 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 transitioned to MILF hot though. Uh Team 3D. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. I don't know. If I get names wrong, if I miss uh, pronounce or I'm uh, misremembering like someone's fake name, uh, don't get upset at me. Uh, I don't fucking know. Especially not 2009 at TNA. I don't know. I see a uh, uh, Kip James or Billy Gunn. I think that's Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn? James Gunn. Well, anyway. Uh, suicide. Jesse Neal. Mike Tanay, ooh, Jenna Moraska, again, very cute, like, I'll keep, like, at least a copy of every single knockout, because I feel like, well, not only are they cute, but it's like, I feel like that's a, that's a, a place for growth, I've already kind of talked about that, you know, I mostly, almost exclusively collect autographs, uh, leaf autos are really cool, um, but I like, like, I I like full sets, and I like, uh, you know, women wrestlers, stuff like that. Chris Sabin, love him. Hope he goes against the Young Bucks at Revolution, perhaps. Uh, Angelina Love again. Jim Corn. oh, is this a... No, I should look for parallels and shit, but I'm not seeing Jack. Another Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette seems to be kind of a rare one in the... I mean, I'm sorry if this is not uh, focusing, by the way. Fuck me. Uh, Jim Cornette, it might have been focused the entire time. Whatever. I should do something with these Jim Cornette uh, cards. I have no love for them. Maybe I'll burn them, make a fun little, like, uh, you know, Vine-type video. Uh, TikTok, that's what they call it these days. That's what the children call it. Madison Rain being all fucking hot again. Holy shit, look at the back. Look at the back. Holy fuck, Madison Rain. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, Team 3D again. That's it. All right, we're coming up to the 15-minute mark here. I don't know how many we'll do. I could do all of them, but that would take probably an hour. And maybe I should um, wait 
it's just I really want to get to the good stuff here. My feeling was I would keep opening them until I found something vaguely interesting. You know, there are plenty of autographs that aren't worth much that I could find, which I'd be happy with just to have them for fun. Um, though I, I want my fucking sting. I want my Kurt Angle. You know, I want the doubles. I want the kisses. I want the knockouts autographs. Uh, but anyway, Jeff Jarrett, Doug Williams, and sticky, sticky, sticky. Oh, that's a, that's a, a rookie, I guess. The depressing Sheik Abdul Bashir one, James Storm, Brutus Magnus. Oh, hey, that's uh oh god, I am such a dickhead for not remembering his full name. Uh, there was talk of him going to AEW. He is the NWA World Champion right now. Nick Aldis, I believe that's him. Yeah, that's him. That's pretty cool. That might even be his rookie card. That's pretty neat. It's the, all the neat little connections you can find. You know, people... I understand why people didn't like TNA. I, I didn't watch at the time, so I can't comment uh, in real time or nothing. But, you know, uh, it's lots of really cool connections. If I could find, like, some young bucks... I don't know what year they were at, at TNA, but that would be amazing. Douglas Williams, I feel sticky already. Uh, Beer Money, Inc. That's kind of nice, I guess. There's a sticky... Uh, young Alex Shelley, he's from Detroit. Kip James. And McFoley with his kids. Again, I find that just a little odd. You know, just a little bit odd. That's just my opinion. You know, I don't know how many we've gone through here. Uh, plenty. I would say, uh, I don't know, 15, 20, something like that. There's lots, right? There's lots. And if I don't get at least one decent autograph. It doesn't have to be a famous person, just something decent, like a, a cool looking knockout or something like that. But uh, she could do, uh, that's a nice McFoley. Homicide, we like Homicide, we like Jenna. Yeah, did I miss any? Is there any like stuck together there? Or is that just it? <laughs> that's just it. All right. I don't know. We might stop this at 20 because like, I don't know how long this camera is going to last. But it's been fun. It's a fun little experiment, you know. I'm going to keep ripping these, of course. I could sell them. I got them really cheap when I bought 90 uh, altogether. By the way, I love this Samoa Joe. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's a keeper, definitely. Find the best one I could find. Keep it. But, um, you know, I got these so cheap as a lot, you know, that I could resell them at retail. Retail is like $2 or something. And make a profit, but they're so cheap... I mean, I could sit on them, you know, wax goes up in value and stuff, but I'm not just about making money. That is, you know, like half my interest in the in the hobby. I just got into the hobby, to be honest with you. But these are so cheap, I might as well just rip them and have fun. So, Samoa Joe, and if you can get these for a cheap price, you might as well rip them and have fun too. They're pretty nice. Bobby Lashley, that's neat. A different Lauren Brooks with Abyss in the background, I think. Taylor Wilde, that's really cool. And Lauren Brooke, and then we got another one of these there. You know, which, incidentally, if this is all you're doing to uh, stop um, theft, just like random ass, uh, you know, like RFID tags, you can feel these in the pack, you know. I mean, this is like the dumbest shit. Anyway, I mean, I guess, you know, it's the only way to do it. Hmm. Another cool Mick Foley. I get a nice little set of Mick Foley's in here, you know. Uh, Tara. Um, 2009 debut. That's another rookie, I assume. You know, not you know, a super famous person, but this is cool nonetheless. You know, I love Chris Sabin, but I see this symbol right there. And nowadays that symbol's gotten a little bit more uh, risque. Well, it sounds like my dog has decided to end this. So, awesome Kong, SoCal Val. Adios, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye.